Hey guys, I got this trailer here that I just sold and I want to show you something on it. The guy I sold it to only hauls bulk potatoes. And if you guys have ever hauled bulk potatoes, you know that that washout afterwards can be can be pretty expensive. Potatoes get mashed into the into the grooves in the reefer floor. You either got to dig them out or pay a whole lot of money for a washout, sometimes even a couple hundred dollars. Well, anyway, the guy I sold it to only hauls bulk potatoes, comes back empty. Hauls a load out, comes back. Out, back, empty. So, he's got this thing he does to the floors in him, and showing it to me here, I want to show it to you. So if you do something like that on a regular basis, it might be an option for you to save some money. Let me show you what he did. So here is what the reefer floor looks like now. You can see in all the grooves, there is pink insulation. All they did was take the insulation board that you can buy at any hardware store. This is the pink Owens Corning. It'd be like the insulation board you put on the outside of your house. Cut it to measurement. These grooves do taper just a little bit. So it cuts them on a table saw at home. Just zips the, zips the thing right down there and brings them in here. You put them in and then you kind of you step them into place. Did the whole floor front to back. He hires a guy to do this. Charges him about 700 bucks. And it takes, I don't know, a few hours. You need to have the trailer really clean. But I think it came out really nice. And this stuff packs in here hard, like concrete. This ain't coming out. When you put the first load in here, that is, uh, those potatoes are gonna weight this stuff down. You get, he says if you wanna take it out, you gotta chisel it out with a screwdriver. And then when they dump it, you don't have any potatoes left in the floor. Now, you would think, hey, the receiver's not gonna want this because this insulation's gonna kinda chip and you're gonna get insulation flakes in the potatoes. He says no, he's had these, he does every trailer he has like this, and the oldest one's five years, and there's no chipping coming out of this insulation board. And the nice part is, it doesn't weigh, I mean you don't, I bet you don't have 100 pounds of insulation in this trailer, so weight isn't an issue, and it's also not an issue if, if they do want to put a palletized load in here, it does not stick up. It, uh, it packs in so hard it's even with the floor. And he says he's never really had a customer really complain about, about uh, you know, having the insulation here and not loading them. So I thought this was pretty interesting. I think the only thing I would have done differently, maybe, is back here in the back, I would have uh, cut out the drain holes there. I probably wouldn't have covered up the drain holes, but hey, that's probably easy enough undone. But I uh, just wanted to show you that if I did something like that, I might be inclined to do it. I, knew, I do know guys that have put plastic liners in here, but there's a problem with that. And that one, it leaves a gap underneath so moisture can collect in there and probably start to smell. And two, you got a plastic liner in here, it gets really slippery, so when you dump that trailer, the potatoes come rushing back. And if they can't escape the trailer fast enough, you could, uh, you could bulge a wall out, you could blow a wall out. The supports really damage it. So. I thought that was pretty cool, and I just wanted to share that. All right, everybody have a great day.